What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. I just wanted to take a little bit of time to thank all of you for getting this channel to 5,000 subscribers. We made a transition uh, to where we made this our college football channel back uh, around the 1st of November, right around Halloween. Channel had about 2,000 subscribers at that time. So really in about two months, we've added 3,000 subscribers gotten this channel to 5,000 by the end of the year. I didn't make the video before the end of the year, but we actually hit 5,000 uh, before the end of 2020. And I just wanted to thank all of you for subscribing to this channel. I'm going to talk about uh, future plans, what's coming up in 2021, also what's coming up this week. And I just wanted to, to put this out here so you guys could comment and let me know what you want to see in 2021. Uh, I'll get into the, all of that in just a second. First of all, though, I wanted to remind you about these channels that we have uh, with Mark Rogers. Uh, they're called the Voice of College Football, where we give uh, all of you and, and a lot of other people a voice for college football. And we have these specific channels that I partner with him on. And uh, we're trying to grow these channels, trying to get them all monetized. So I just wanted to remind you all or maybe let you know for the first time if you were not aware of this. But we have channels for several teams and also an sec channel so these are the channels that we have and you can find all of these channels at sg1sports.com slash channels just go to that website or go to sg1sports.com and click on channels there in the menu and you'll see a list of these channels links to each channel if you're a fan of these teams please help us out subscribe to the channel if you're an sec fan we post all kinds of sec content over on that channel if you're a Clemson fan, Florida State, Miami, Michigan, Nebraska, Notre Dame, Ohio State, Oregon, Texas, USC. If you're a fan of any of these teams or if you just want to help us out and subscribe to the channels. Um, if you're a college football fan, now if you're not going to watch you know, anything that has anything to do with Oregon, please don't subscribe to the Oregon channel. But uh, if you want to keep up to date on the top teams in college football, maybe you want to subscribe to all these channels. Once we get all of these channels to 1,000 subscribers, which several of them already are, uh, and we get them monetized, then we'll possibly be able to do more channels. Uh, we may break away from the SEC channel and do team-specific channels for uh, some of the SEC teams. There are other teams that we'd really like to do, like Oklahoma, Penn State, uh, but we had to start somewhere and just couldn't, you know, couldn't do a, too many teams right off the bat, especially when a lot of these channels are not monetized. Uh, so there's only so much, you know, that we're going to be able to do for free. But if we can get all these channels monetized, then maybe we can do more teams. That is the goal. Um, you're going to find all kinds of exclusive content on these channels uh, from Mark, from his guests. I will be also doing some content on these channels. And uh, I do a lot of behind the scenes things on these channels uh, as well. So again, help us out. If you're a fan of any of these teams, please subscribe to the channels. Just go to sg1sports.com slash channels. Click on the channel and subscribe. So I'm going to leave this up here while I talk about what is coming up. We'll start with this week. Actually, let's go back to the channel. So back in uh, October, or at the end of October, I announced that I was going to make this change and make this channel a new channel for just college football content. If you're new to this, maybe you have no idea what I'm talking about. But if you've been a long time subscriber, uh, we had a channel called SG1 Sports. It's still there, which was a combination of... Uh, gaming content, a lot of NCAA football content, simulations, and also talking about real life college football. And I really felt the need to break away from that and kind of separate those two things and created this new college football channel. A lot of people question that move. Why would you leave a channel with over 40,000 subscribers to, to start basically a new channel? And I tried to explain why that works better with YouTube's algorithm. And now that you have seen what we've been able to do on this channel and so in a very short period of time, you can see the college football videos on this channel are now getting more views than they were on that channel, even though we only have 5,000 subscribers compared to almost 45,000 subscribers. So uh, it, it was just about really narrowing it down to that audience that only wants to see college football content. That's why we made that move. A lot of you immediately jumped over. I think just when I made the announcement, though, in those first few days, we added another thousand subscribers. We're up to about three thousand, and then over the last two months, again, we've been able to get to five thousand. So again, I want to thank you all for that. Uh, this channel would not be here if it was not for all of you supporting it. And again, I want to really 
really thank you for your support. And if you've been a long time subscriber to the other channel and, and all of our channels, again, I really appreciate it. Again, this channel would be absolutely nothing without all of your support. So now we look ahead to 2021. I'll start with this week. This is what I have coming up this week. Tomorrow, I'm going to release my final top 25 poll for the 2020 college football season. It will have Alabama and Ohio State tied at number one because whoever wins that game is obviously going to be my number one team. But you're not going to, to get a final poll after next Monday. That's why I go ahead and do it because the day after the national championship, I always release my way too early top 25 poll. Uh, so there's really no time to do a, a end of the year top 25 when we immediately go into that uh, way too early 2021 top 25. So that will be next Tuesday after the national championship. But I'm going to give you my final poll for 2020 coming up tomorrow. Uh, we will also this week be previewing Notre Dame and Alabama, not Notre Dame, obviously they've already played, Alabama and Ohio State. I'm going to give you my preview for that game, my prediction. Again, this is the guy that picked Ohio State to beat Clemson when I don't know if any other uh, YouTubers, I don't know if anyone else, maybe if they were an Ohio State fan, there were not many in any ways that were picking Ohio State to win that game. I did pick Ohio State and, again, correctly predicted it would be Alabama and Ohio State, so I'm going to give you my prediction on that national championship game. Also, going to give you my top 10 surprise teams of the 2020 college football season, and we're going to flip that around to the top 10 most disappointing teams and there were a bunch of them. Uh, there were a lot of teams that did not have good years, that had pretty high expectations, and they did not live up to those expectations. I could have probably made a top 25 most disappointing teams, but I did narrow that down to 10. So those videos will be coming up this week as we're kind of in a transition week uh, before we get into the national championship. And well, after the national championship, that's when we really start looking ahead at some things for 2021. If you're new, if you don't know what we normally do in the offseason, it really starts with schedule previews, projected records, uh, breaking down who's coming back for each team, maybe looking at some recruiting things, uh, those types of things. And then we get into the spring, we start just previewing the teams, looking at who the top players will be for next year, uh, just kind of getting things started. We do that for the next few months. And then, of course, once we get into the summer, usually around – maybe right after Memorial Day, that's when I will start to really uh, start with those predictions. I'll start predicting uh, each team's record, and we go through and we do all those predictions and, and lots of other things as well uh, that I'll be mixing in. But I want to know what you guys want to see. So if you're if you're a longtime subscriber and you already know what we do in the offseason, what would you like to see added to this content in the offseason? What types of videos, what types of things would you like to see um I, again, want to make content that you all are going to watch and want to watch. So and give me any ideas for college football content that you want to see this offseason, uh, and I will do my best to, to do as much of that as I can. Uh, maybe you guys give me some great ideas, some videos that will really take off and get a ton of views. Uh, there are some. There are a few videos that I do in the offseason every year that always get a lot of views. I don't want to go into too much because there are a lot of channels that kind of copy some things that I do and so I don't want to just say hey this this and this always gets me a ton of views and then watch you'll see other channels doing the exact same thing um, but yeah I, I just want to to get some ideas from you maybe some things that I haven't done in the off season before uh, like I've been thinking about doing some best case worst case scenario for each team uh, things like that um, looking at the strengths of each team, the weaknesses of each team, and just a lot of a lot of things you can do in the offseason. And I love breaking down these teams in the offseason. It's going to be a crazy year because, uh, first of all, we're going to have to figure out who's going to go to the NFL, who's coming back. We have transfers all over the place. I mean, it's it's crazy. We've never had transfers like this. So just figuring out where the players are going to be, what the teams are going to look like, that's going to take some time. But we're going to do our best to start projecting. Uh, how these teams are going to expect it to look as early as we possibly can. So, uh, again, just give me your thoughts, your ideas for content this offseason, and I will look them over, do as many of them as I can, and uh, hopefully we can have a lot of fun. I know the college football season is about to be over, but if you followed my channels, uh, the offseason is really maybe the most exciting time 
uh, for my channels because we do a lot of things, have a lot of fun, and uh, get you set for the next college football season. So, again, give me your ideas, your comments down below. Thank you once again for 5,000 subscribers. Uh, we're just getting started. Uh, again, we, we built that channel in a very short time up to over 40,000 subscribers, and I expect us to build this channel very quickly as well. Uh, I would say we definitely will have 10,000, or a goal would be to get to 10,000 subscribers before uh, the start of the college football season, but who knows? Maybe we can blow that away with all of your help. Uh, maybe we can. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you, and uh, watch for those videos coming up the rest of this week.